That guy's got an arrow between the two hemispheres of his brain, and he's still just... Oh, God. Thank God I just pulled out my rifle. Whew. Okay, that's fine. Silence is on. We're all good. I don't know where other... Oh! G'day, guys. My name's Josh. Yo, can call me Ja Woodle. And welcome back to Seven Days to Die Alpha 17, where I'm back in hardcore survival, taking on immediately after the very long and very unusual episode that I just did with uh, all the Screamer Hordes and the XP grinding, all that kind of stuff. We still need a bunch more XP and a bunch more cool things to happen before I can make my very own brand new level six oh shit shotgun. But uh, I can't do that just yet, so I'm heading out into the big wide world once again. If you're looking at this base and thinking, hmm, that's a bit different to the last time I saw it, that's because you skipped the last episode. So shame on you. Go back and watch that, then come back to this one, and you'll know exactly what is going on. I am heading back to the trader. I'm going to go buy some stuff. I'm going to buy some repair kits while I'm there, uh, and everything else that I need. There's something that I need to buy from the trader. Oh, Grandpa's learning the elixir. I always forget it. But this time, I'm thinking about it. I'll guarantee I'll forget it before I get there as well. I'm going to buy some of that for the uh, the next night time that isn't a horde night, so I can just just harvest Screamer Hordes again. Screamer Horde, I mean, that base, there's a lot of torches. There's forges, things going. It is a, like, a heat map nightmare over there. If it wasn't such a fucking awesome base, it would be a death trap. But... Because of the killing corridor, because of how well it's all set up, it's just an XP farm. It works a treat. Oh, that's a big rock. I'm stuck. Ah, ah, ah. Can, oh, and I'm also out of gas. That was convenient timing. But yeah, it just works so well that if I get that learning elixir, I'll get all the levels I need in about five seconds. So let's uh, let's refuel you. I did bring my gas. Yes, I did refuel you all the way. But there we go. 300 gas, 100% fuel. Let's go to the trader and buy some shit. And also, ow, finish off some quests. I keep running into boulders. Stop doing that. Oh, I did it again. I forgot to close these doors. My bad, Jeffrey. Oh. Oh, that was a bit unusual. I keep forgetting to close these open doors. I'm going to... It's because I keep riding my bike in. Ah, fuck it. It's too far away. <laughs> it's, it's like a whole 13 steps, and I just can't be bothered going that far. Nothing in here that I particularly... Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, let's get, like, four of these. Four, four, buy those. Just to restock on my, my little uh, uh, pocket full of water right. I've got. Hey, how's it going, Almost mate? What do you got for me? Absolute donuts. Absolute donuts. You were a waste of my time. Right, I'm going to sell you this that you just gave me. She's with a 14 extra dollar redos. Um, you wouldn't have restocked, but I didn't I didn't check last time. So it's like, le, le, learning elixir. Uh, that's how you spell learning, kind of. Uh, it's not in here either. Right. Well, you don't really have anything I want then, do you? And it's a lot... Oh, oil, though. Oil. I need oil for my... There's only three. I need oil for Molotovs. Hmm. All right. Well, never mind then. I Thank guess so you God, can just fuck it right off. Browsing. Give me no. Next that's the one. one. Give me another job. Uh, just because I'm here. Uh, buried supplies. Oh, lots of buried supplies. Just Whatever. Give me that one. Indeed. When do I start getting like higher tier stuff? Do I need to like invest a skill point to get higher tier? Uh, missions? I, I don't know. I never actually rely on the quest so much. It's just something I do just as like to have on the map. If I'm nearby, I might just go do it. Right, but now that I've seen him, uh, the only thing I do want to do, though, is go and raid that town hall I found in the last episode. It's been a long time since I like went on a proper raid through a big, intimidating, kind of scary, a little bit like butt-clenchingly scary P uh, POI. I, I want to go do that again. It's been a long time. There is like one, there's like a big apartment building complex that I've never seen before on the other side of the world near the other trader. That will be a job for future jo Ooh. Ooh. A job for future Josh, I was saying. Speaking of current Josh, though, he needs to check this stuff back. Give me nothing. You know what? Fuck you too. I really, I was, I was hoping. I was praying that the game was like, he's been talking about this level 6 shotgun for so long. Let's just throw him a bone. And instead of throwing me a bone, he threw me a candy cane. Which any other time of the year would be fantastic. But seeing as you already like sucked it into a stabby little point. Nah, no thank you. There it is. That is foreboding as fuck. Like coming out of the mist like that, that is uh... That's quite the sight. Also, the town hall's right on the edge of town. Uh, is that how it's supposed to be? I don't, I don't really know. All right, we are here. We are ready to go. Uh, where's the entrance? I'm looking for the light. There's normally like it gives you a light to show you the way in, but I don't really see anything. God, this is a real imposing building, isn't it? Is there? I'm just gonna walk around the side and hopefully come up and find something that is like welcoming and beckoning a bit. Oh, oh, there's a basement. There's a basement, and there will be... Oh, there's a jail. 
is a cheerleader in jail. I don't want to know why. Probably underage drinking or something. Some some ridiculous law that you uh, is, is in seven days to die. Anything? I see, I see you. I got, oh, you're a feral. I saw your glowy eyes. Well, you know what? I also see a slot for an arrow. Pa! Nailed him. Oh. Are you going to show me the way? Oh, go long. Ah! Uh. Missed him. All right, well, he's going to come out and, and find me. That's all right with me. Uh, at least I know there's ferals in the basement waiting to fuck me up. PPD with a light on. This is the part that I wanted. This is the inviting entrance I was looking for. Is that a, a rock or is that just like a, a small stone? That was a pretty bloody big small stone. So this is the entryway I was looking for. I've got, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I've got plenty of time. I'm in the police department. Ah, uh, police department. You would think... If logic holds true, which in this game it very rarely does, a police department would be filled with cops. You know, the big bloated, like, sort of acid spitting motherfuckers? I feel like I'm going to come across a lot of those. At least if I don't, I would be very surprised. That seems like that's the way the logic would prevail. Uh, I'm going to check all these doors. I'm staying crouched for now. Given that it's a place this big, I don't want to risk waking up things on other floors. Not only because they'll then break through the walls to get me, and that would be bad, but also because if they're, like, stationed next to good loot, and I wake them up, there is a chance they will just break the loot. It'll be like that, uh, that storage box, or, like, the, the gunsmith crate at the bottom of the water tower in the, at the start of, um... The no crafting challenge, I think it was. Uh, if uh, the zombies start breaking... Oh, that's what I want to do. That. If the zombies start breaking all the shit that I can loot to get the good things out of, I'm just never going to get good things. Two sets of purple overalls. Well, I'm glad to know that my wardrobe made it into the game. I like that this guy's been uh, been zombified in the middle of his like mugshot kind of thing. I'd love to see that like progression photo. You know, what it looked like beforehand to what it looks like now. Just to see like what the kind of decaying change would be. Uh, just quickly sort you out. Yep, you're dead. Oh, that's I like the shadows. I like games that make use of, like, good shadows. Oh, there's a bunch of zombies in here, actually. Yeah, good use of shadows can make or break a game. Can I... Can, oh, I might be... Does that count as a headshot? No, it counts as a chair. Sweet hitbox. Right in the... Seriously. Seriously, that chair is apparently three miles wide and invisible for most of it. Fuck it. I'll go around the long way and pick off you first. That wasn't the head, but I can, I can kill you afterwards. There we go. Just please don't wake up your friends. Oh, there's glass on the floor. Pay attention to that. That's how you wake shit up. Oh, the eyes are glowing on all my nursy titties over there. Oh, please kill her. I've got iron arrows. Please kill her in one. Uh, yes. Oh, God. Thank God. Thank God I leveled up like my sneak damage and stuff. So I can kill feral minor zombies. So like the normal zombies like that, I can kill in one shot. I figured there'd be a backpack down there. Give me something good. Nitro powder is not good. All right, go back to go back to sneaking and creeping and luring and uh, sleuthing around. Uh, doors open? No, doors locked. But windows broken? Yeah, no, maybe. I can't tell. It's an interrogation room. There's nothing for me really in there anyway. Just got oh, oh, vents and shit. I don't know. I'm just just kind of creeping along, hoping I can like find something good in here. It's gonna be a long time before I get the reward of raiding this place. So I need to make sure my eyes are peeled for any little secrets. I've made it to the jails. This is where I woke up the feral before. Oh, they're all ferals. Look at the eyes. You can even see the eyes on all. Okay, everything, everything in here is primed to kill me, especially if I miss the fucking shot. Uh oh, uh oh, they're all they're all awake. They're all awake. Josh, you've you 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 done goof, son. Yeah, done goof. This was a bad decision. For the first time in a long time, you're actually in like one-on-one -on -one combat with feral zombies without your like your base to protect you. Shot right in the muff. Sorry about that. Oof, I mean, I, I killing them is one thing. I committing basically war crimes against them is another. Everyone sounds pretty angry. I'm gonna quickly go modify and take you off and put the silencer on. I knew it was a good idea to keep my silencer. Uh, yep, reload this. All right, let's. God, they are doing some serious damage around here. Stay, stay down so you can get a good look at them before everything goes wrong. Kill you. Who's, who else is awake in here? You're all, thank God they're all in jail cells so I can take my time. I probably could use the bow, but just in case some idiot like that comes running at me, I'm primed and ready to go. I really love what they've done with Alpha 17. Oh, there's an arrow in the door. Oh, this is where I was before. That's right. Yeah, like Alpha 17 as an update with all the new POYs and everything. Every time I raid a new POY I haven't been in before, it kind of, it blows me away all over again at just how good it actually is. Can I squeeze through here? Eh, 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 reach, reach. I mean, that's not a, a great lure. I mean, I know you want me to try and like beat this down and make my way in there, but like, 
that's uh just a random like with a duffel bag is not enough for me to risk waking everyone up so let's make our way upstairs is that as oh, i thought there were zombie feet check all your corners make sure you clear rooms don't like take shortcuts nice little weathered backpack give me something good nothing don't even worry then. But yeah, I mean, if you want to tempt me to try and break down that steel freaking door, maybe give me like a, a shotgun messiah crate or something. Give me something that I, I know has a reasonable chance of giving me something worth my time and effort. Give me just like a random backpack. Could be empty. I get a lot of empty backpacks these days. Ow, ow, pull your bow, idiot. Oh God. All right, I'm now apparently feeling something coming on because I couldn't draw my bow properly. Not great. Not great by all, mate. So, yeah, the, the hooded zombies appear to be, like, a next-level zombie. Like, so not, like, a minor zombie, like a medium zombie. They're not, like, the big heifers, but they still don't drop in one clean stealth shot to the head. Like, look at that guy. That guy's got an arrow between the two hemispheres of his brain, and he's still just... Oh, God! Thank God I just pulled out my rifle. Whew! Okay, that's fine. Silence is on. We're all good. I don't know where other... Oh! <laughs> Holy motherfucking shit! Oh, that was a whole bunch of hoodlums that just came through. Oh, I need to reload. Ow, 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 I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding and I can't get out of the way. Stand up and get out of here. Three, three, use your bandage. Oh, Jesus Christ. If I wasn't hot fuzz right now, I would be thinking that was a serious threat to my town of the year award. That was so many hoodies. Are we good? Are we, are we done? Are we good? I said done and good at the same time. I said do it instead. Are we good? Are we good here? Can we, uh... Move on. That was uh, that was that was a crazy amount, man. Hoodie zombies are suddenly my like worst enemies. I mean, I kind of underestimate. I know I'm infected. Use antibiotics, honey, herbal antibiotics. Do I have any of that? I do not. Damn it! I know I've got some at home, but uh, with new Alpha 17, they're not a reliable way to fix. Oh, there's a, there's a secret over there. Not a reliable way to fix these things at all. Why was the courtroom? Why was the courtroom of all places full of hoodies? Why wasn't there like, you know, businessmen or something? Like lawyers and things. Things that you'd expect to find in... Ooh, is that like a secret area? I think it might be. Let's grab this. Put you down here. Stop crouching for a second. <coughs> the infection's starting to get to me. Huh, up we go. Oh. Interesting. Oh, I can probably just like beat down this one too. Oh. Someone somewhere is awake. That's why I don't like taking off crouch. Because as soon as you do, everyone comes fucking with you. Uh, oh, there's something here. Sealed shipping crate. Give me something good. Give me some antibiotics. Hidden stash. Give me something. Nothing. Silver nuggets, but like nothing. I mean, military helmet is okay. What have I got on me at the moment? My mining helmet. I don't have my torch. I've got, oh, there was a helmet light at the trader. Josh! Buy that shit next time, you idiot! From now on, I am rolling with the oh shit rifle, ready to go at a moment's notice. And if I get the opportunity to take out like a stealth kill, then I will. But like, if I'm just cruising around, it is rifle first, stealth later. I mean, it's got the silencer on it, so I can kind of handle myself if I really need to. That was a letdown. But uh, I just, I don't want to run into a situation like that where there is so many, uh, or any zombies running at me and me having nothing but my bow. That's a good way for me to die. I got lucky before where I pulled out my rifle just in time. I'm not taking that chance again. Let's go up into the stand. Uh, Your Honor, I'm going to plead that I would like to have a holiday from the zombies. Can they all please leave me alone? Oh, please. Just for like five minutes. I just, I just want some good shit. I want to feel like I'm in control again. I missed my base. I see you there, buddy. And by the look of your hand, I'm going to assume that you are a hooded zombie. Can I just peek around the corner and see your eyes? I just want to see your eyes, sweetheart. Just let me, let me see. I can't see. Do I, do I risk trying to go for the stealth kill or do I make a sure thing of it and just hose him? I'm going to be dumb. I'm going to do something dumb. I'm going to go like this. Oh, he was a, no, he was a feral. Oh, and he brought a friend. Okay, that's okay. Oh boy. Oh, oh, jeez. You came out of no, oh, and your friend. There's so many tits in my face. Oh boy, Josh, stop taking gambles, you absolute sausage. I'm running out of meds. I'm running out of ammo. Oh, toilet block. Is there, 
There's something under the floor over there. Are there any zombies in here? No, I think we're okay. Please be a medicine cabinet. Anything. Give me any sort of meds. Scrap that. Don't need an extra cooking pot. Why is the cooking pot in the bathroom anyway? I don't know. Leave the acid. I don't particularly care for that right now. Break up the floor. Please give me anything good. I just need some more meds. That wasn't quite what I had in mind, but sure. Whatever. Uh, ammo is ammo. Oh, I shouldn't have scrapped that though. Now when I run out of ammo for my pistol, for my rifle, I don't have a secondary firearm. Mm, Josh, that was that was a silly decision. All right, this might take time. Why am I rolling around with my axe? That's a bad idea. I've only got 46 rounds left. I could be in some serious trouble here. My infection is cooking along really quickly, and I don't like... I might have to go out and try and find a tree stump to try and cure that before I can continue on, because I'm about to start getting real sick, and it's not giving me anything to try to, like, cure it at all. It's giving me donuts. Uh, nothing in there. Anything anywhere? Oh, there's... Oh, are you open? You are open. Anything, anything interesting inside? <gasps> Medical small. Oh, please. Please, 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 please. You ass hat. That was a cock tease. For God's sake. I'm here. You say medical supplies. And I'm like, yes. Salvation. Surely. Some health. And then you give me freaking glass jars inside a medical cache. Oh, the game hates me. The game hates me like I hate... Well, actually, I don't know anything like this game hates me. I can see a stump just outside. I'm going to break my way out. Oh, it's, that's, that's annoying. My stamina's getting romper stomped by this freaking infection, though. My body's trying to fight off this disease, and I'm, I don't have anything to give it to it. Oh, the worst thing is as well... I mean, is it beyond honey at this point? Can I still... Can I heal a, a tier... Like, one infection with honey? I don't actually know. Get up here... Break my way out of here. I can cut. The good thing is I can come back to where I left off. If I could just come on, just push your way through the glass. Be a man. I don't even have the stamina to run to the stumps over here. So I'm gonna have to drive my bike over. Oh, there's a shotgun messiah right there. No, if it was like a like a pills or something like that, then I might uh, I might have a crack at it. But nah, not not just a shotgun messiah. Come on, give me some honey, please. Give me honey. Stamina, plus. I'm trying to fix you. Just like swing your axe one more time, honey. Yes, 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 yes. Eat, 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 eat. Um, num, num, num. Did you, did you fix me? Did you fix me at all? Please, infection. Use antibiotics. Oh, I, I can't fix that with just honey, though. I need actual antibiotics. Shit. There's got to be something around here. I got, I got to get lucky. Oh my god. Speaking of lucky, uh, scrap you. Take two antibiotics. The, the first car I checked, I rode past. And I was like, oh, I should probably just check the cars. Sometimes you get reasonably lucky with them. Use antibiotics. Is that going to cure it? Please cure it. Please, for the love of God. Just I had this issue last time. I've only got 48 seconds left. Please just cure my fucking infection. If I can't do it with antibiotics, I mean, some people reckon that, like, there's now just a chance to cure antibiotics, but I've also seen that antibiotics just sometimes just don't work. I've had that issue before where antibiotics just, just aren't a thing. Like, you can use as many as you like, but it's not going to matter because you're still going to get the, the next level of infection anyway. So I'm not sure what the actual way is. I mean, I could turn on, you know, a, a debug menu and take off the, the infection, uh, but I don't know. I mean, it's always been antibiotics cures the infection. And now I'm infected and I've used antibiotics. It says I've got antibiotics, but it also says infection. So I I don't really know what the right way to do this is. What I do know is I have to mer- Oh, no, don't do that. I have a very limited 7.62. Maybe I do need to go raid that shotgun messiah real quick and get some more ammo. Oh, holy shit. I went and fought off that uh, the Yeti zombie and it cured my infection. So it turns out it does work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. The The current theory is that, like, uh, when one stage of infection wears off and it goes to the next one, if you have antibiotics, that uh, it'll cure it for you. But uh, the, I, I don't know. I don't know what the official word is. Who knows? But for now, I am uninfected. I have very little ammo, and I'm going to continue pushing through... Uh, that's the DMV. Oh, no, the DMV wouldn't have vehicle parts. In fact, that's where I came through. I'm going to keep pushing and ho oh, hopefully find... Some more stuff. Just keep going. Just kind of like, just play in faith that the game will take care of you. And by take care, I mean look after you. Not like take care as in make you some stone shoes. Oh, Jesus. I heard you. I heard you come behind me. Get, get out of it, dickbag. Oh, God. Oh, and now I've woken up all his friends. You are, you are so fast. You should be able to run that fast in slacks and dress shoes. If you ever try to run in dress shoes, you do not move that quickly. Oh, God. Josh, learn how to shoot. Learn how to shoot, Joshy boy. Oh, oh, that was a terrible shot. Please die. Please die. I don't have a lot of ammo left. That was my last round. 
I'm in I'm in trouble here. Lots of people are awake, and I have woken them up, and they are coming for me like I am their favorite snack. I mean, I am. I am fresh meat, and they are zombies. Clearly, I'm what they want to eat, but you need to just give me a chance. I mean, just like tenderize me a little bit. Like season your meal. You don't just like walk straight up to a steak in the shop and sink your teeth in. You got to take it home and cook it a little bit. You got to like you know you got to go through the motions. I have 15 7.62 rounds left. This is why I wanted my shotgun before I did this. The old shit shotgun, I had so much shotgun ammo at home. I put the silencer on it, I could have just rolled around and torn ass apart. But instead, I'm very much worried that this might be the last thing I ever do in this world. Because if I die, it is all over Red Rover. It's also very late in the day. I might have to go home, reload, restock. I mean, that would be the smart thing to do. But like, sometimes you just got to take risks. I might, I, I'm, I don't know how close I am to the end of this. I'm on the second floor. There can't be that much left of this building. There's a lot of zombies over there and a big sign lit up here, which means that those guys are probably defending something good. I don't have a club. The closest I got is my axe. Oh, for... Something just exploded. For the first time in my life, I wish I had a club or some sort of melee. I don't... Oh, he died. Okay, he died. That's good. The more I can kill straight up, the better I feel about my life in general. There's four dudes in here. I'm not sure about the hitbox on his arm, so let's take him there. <gasps> if you just dropped a bunch of 7.62, I will love you forever, and I'll never kill another suited zombie. Reach. Reach in there. Pull it out. What do you got? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That was a complete waste of everybody's time. I'm now level 74. I have three points. How much, how much do I actually need? I needed uh, five. I need two more points. Are you kidding me? I mean, it's almost night, so I can probably get that tonight just at, like, at the at the base, just murdering Screamer Hordes. I could probably make that happen. Maybe I... Maybe... Oh. Oh. Ladder. Ladder. Secret way. Secret cheat way. Secret way past all the zombies. Nope. Secret way to here. Oh, I hate it when I find the other end of a shortcut. I could have taken this... Oh, no, I couldn't have. That ladder's actually pretty high up. Oh, all right, we keep on pushing on. It's 1900. Not a lot of time before everything kicks off, but I'm heading my way. I'm heading up to the third floor. I've been fighting ferals all day. I've got 15 rounds left in the AK. This is make or break time. I'm actually, like, properly super nervous right now. <gasps> Are you a feral? I think you got to be a feral, right? All right, we're going to hit him quickly and then move backwards. Oh, he's not a feral, thank God. A feral biker would be like, a feral biker or a feral like uh military zombie would be possibly the worst thing i could i could come up against right now that uh that's that's game ending if i come up against one of those i'm not gonna be able to fight them off quick enough and they're going to eat my face uh i'm all i'm all, I'm all juiced up let's eat some steak while i'm out here oh please please just give me the end of this nightmare i want it over i'm like i either want the time to go faster so i can call it a day and go home or I want the like the, the treasure room to just like open up in front of me so I can call it a day, take that, and head back home. That's all I want. Oh, all of my bravery is gone. Spot Oh! Oh! No, 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 spider zombie. The roof is too low for you. You can't jump at me. You can't jump. Oh. There was one other spider zombie though. Did he wake up? Did he wake Did he wake up when I killed his friend? I I hope not. Can I still get a stealth shot him? I can. Just go like this. Oh, just like that. Okay, straight through the temple. Satisfying. I see legs. I see nurse. I can kill a nurse in one. There we go. It's important now to know which zombie is which. You've got to make sure you identify your target before you kill them. Because if you try and take on a hoodie, you're going to have a bad time. What are you? I can't tell by the legs. It might be a spider. It might be... Oh, oh that's... Okay. It's Darlene, I think her name is. Oh, it's a feral Darlene. Her eyes are looking right at me. I don't think I can take this risk. You know what? You know what I can do, though? I can go all the way down here. I can take a shot at her ankle, shoot her right through the Achilles, and then she can come at me and I can put some rounds through her chest. That'll be okay. Right for her calf muscles. Should have stayed off leg days. So I'll make a smaller target. Uh, just like that. Yep, straight through. Okay, and then when she comes and gets mad at me, or runs the complete opposite direction, And then jump off the roof? Did she just not know where I was? 
Interesting. I'm okay with that. If you want to go downstairs and die, I'm okay with that. Oh, I found the treasure room. Everyone got very mad at me all of a sudden. I heard the groaning. There's a bunch of tubbies and uh, not a good time to be me. Uh, damn it. She dodged it. She dodged it really well. Huh, just jump in faith. Jump in faith and keep going. Get a good shot. Uh, can I lure you off the edge maybe? Nah, fuck it. Fuck it. Use the rounds that God gave you. Do the best you can with them and hope for the best. All right, one down. Four rounds left for big fat Hawaiian over there. Make, make him count. One. Run right in the noggin. I mean, I know you're a big, thick dude, but your skull's not that thick. You can't stop around. Stop. Okay, run it straight towards me. There you go. Lovely. Two. Right between the eyes. It's twice. I've got an hour and a half left of game time. That was the shoulder. That was the head. He's dead. The last round. Oh, okay. This could be make or break. If this is the treasure room, I'm golden. But I don't know. I... I thought I saw a moving shadow. There might be more. You know, oh, oh. Is that a... What is that? Is that a zombie? Let's put one in his dick and find out. Yep, it's a spider zombie. That's all right. Oh, damn it. Missed the shot. Wait for him. Just wait wait for your opportunity, Josh. Don't rush the shot, whatever you do. Oh, it's very open. It's very spider zo zombie, like, peak opportunity out here. I gotta, I gotta move up a little bit. I gotta move up. I just gotta move up. Oh, oh, there you are, buddy. Oh, damn it, missed it. Don't you jump. Don't you jump. Oh, <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Jump. Skeet shooting with spider zombies. Fuck you two. I made it. I made it to the top. I am in the building. I am in the spire. I am in whatever this hideout is. Oh, thank God. Okay, first things first. Anything from Shotgun Messiah. Working. No, there's nothing here that's going to give me tool, uh, give me ammo. I'm going to take down the hardened chest first because that's where the ammo is going to be. Once I have that, I can head back home. There we go. It's broken down. Nothing there. There was a weapons bag here I didn't see before. Four rounds and an AK. I mean, extra AK is helpful, but I'll scrap it to get the rounds out of it because I need the rounds more than I need the second gun. Uh, all right. Well, that was um, mildly disappointing. Oh, uh, so disappointing. I almost lost half of my organs. All right, let's break into the rest of these things and get our gubbins. Oh, that's a good find, actually. Repair kits and a sledgy. I will take that. I'll use one of those immediately to repair my AK. Even though I'm about to get, like, a level 6 shotgun eventually, I still want to make sure that what I do have now is up to scratch. Okay, where is my bike? I can get rid of the waypoint here. Uh, delete that one. Uh, bike is just to my left over there. All right, let's drop down here, get back on my bike, and start heading home. Did all of that in one day. Oh, oh, shit! Ow, oh, you sausage, Josh. What did you do that for? I slid down that bloody, uh, the bloody pillar and broke my ankle on the block at the bottom. Silly. Silly, Joshy boy, but it's all right. The day is over. We're heading home. Gonna spend the night on my, uh, killing corridor, just, like, harvesting XP from screamers because one more level is all I need and I have max crafting available to me which means I can make a level 6 shotgun which means I can feel better about my life all over again I can put the silencer on I can put the extended mag on it I can put the cripple and uh, mod on it I can do all of that I can make it an absolute zombie killing machine but I have to do that tomorrow because I have to get home first and get some more XP home sweet home pull up onto the ramp jump up to there Open the door, please. Thank you. And open the other door, if you don't mind. I hate that it always rolls down the hill. I don't want you to roll down the hill. I want you to stay where I left you. Up and up and in. Ditch the bike. Close the doors. Lovely, lovely. I like that I know that I can ditch the bike as soon as I make it to the gateway. And it will roll in nice and easily. Well, there you go. That is a successful little raid. We raided the town hall. We survived only just. It got pretty dicey there for a couple of times. But we made it through... You know, I made it through, and I made it back home, and now I just need to find some screamers, get some XP, and I can make my beloved oh shit shotgun again. But, I will have to do that in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching, but most of all, thank you to the patrons on Patreon, who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure the like button, down below, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter, I don't talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.